Hello, welcome back if you have been here before. Um, welcome if you're new. I'm in the midst of something that uh, if you're new you don't know about but I'm challenging myself to make a video every day. This is the fifth day um, for April of 2023 to combat my perfectionism streak and to override it and just put out my real authentic self without overthinking, without um, loads of excessive time consuming preening and fussing and worrying and anxiety. So um, <laughs> there's the background. Um, so what have I got to share with you today? Um, uh, again I had so many ideas of what to say and it's really hard to pin down one thing and this isn't another part of the perfectionism is to um, just just do it and put something out there because the the indecision can stall you and stop you doing things that you want to do. Um, but I I did spend some time with a friend today who um, is a relatively new friend. Um, we had great chats about so many things, but that kind of led me to feel about um, how to yeah in this in this topic to speak to you about how. Um, as we go through new parts of our lives, um, I, I'm I'm definitely I mean I'm definitely one of these people who's always uh, evolving and changing, evolving and changing, evolving and changing. Um, it might be my Scorpio nature. I'm Scorpio Sun, um, or um, I don't know the kind of I have a, a sort of a, a drive to move forward, a thirst of, to learn, and things within me. Um, that I, I don't know if they're specifically Scorpio, actually. Um, uh, but I'm, I'm always evolving and changing anyway, but um, I, the point is that as we evolve, your environment around you, including the people around you, evolve with you, and um, I know I've had times where I've, I've moved forward in my life, I've made uh, realisations or um, say I've I've evaluated an aspect of how I was living and realised that maybe I've inherited that or adopted it from someone who insisted that was the best way and, and things like that and really what's my value, what do I I want to do in, in that area of my life and then I move forward or sometimes it's a, mo a lot more subconscious than that and it just happens but sometimes it's quite a conscious change and then you move forward into another area of your life and then you realise oh I'm kind of leaving behind like when you leave behind ways of life you often leave behind people and they they just they don't want to come with you and you can't stay back there with them so you end up you just you're in a new space and then it's like as soon as you're in that new space and um other people have had to leave you because of the circumstance it's like it creates uh spaces for more people to come in um and uh, uh, I've had yeah new friends come into my life recently who they'll say to me about how they're feeling and what they're thinking and um, how their lives are going and I'll feel like oh oh god great because mine's going that way too and I feel like I'm being um, guided towards the kind of kindred spirits that I need at this time in my life um, and it doesn't mean that anyone from um, earlier stages of my life that I love them or like them any less. It's just like we're not um, we're not able to feed each other with a, with any kind of like um, like the new energy just doesn't match. Um, I think that makes sense. And there's uh, there's like different people can bring different things into our lives so sometimes we've learned all the lessons that we can with other people it doesn't mean they might not come back around sometimes people boomerang don't they um and they um they move into something similar to to you where you got to and then you end up coming back in like I've had um people in my life where we sort of do this <laughs> kind of motion and come come back in um or like it might even be a bit like this sometimes and then it matches up and then it goes and then like yeah you know what I mean with the, the wiggly paths um 
can go on and uh, yeah and it, it just reminded me how important it is to um, let some things go that maybe it doesn't mean that you didn't love them at the time and that they weren't you know I mean it, it depends of course but it doesn't mean they weren't you know treasured connections and that you didn't learn from them or enjoy life with them or whatever you got from the connection um it just means that for this moment right now perhaps they're not the personal people that benefit you that they're maybe they're not resonating with where you're going and they've for from no fault of their own just with how things are aligning it's harder for them to understand you and then if it's harder for them to understand you maybe it's harder for them to hang out with you as much and um, support you and those those sorts of things um and if you do let that just slide away a little bit how whether you call it the universe you know whatever energy um you believe in if you if you um call it god or the source or anything um it's almost like whatever that is the ruling energy that keeps everything in balance when once there's a space once there's um um a oh what's the word like a slot i guess to be filled the universe sees it and it just like shuffles and realigns everything like it's like i see it like the whole earth is like this and people move around and do um bits and bobs um to, to change their life and they you know they might be physically moving yes but like whatever changes they make and like the universe sees it and it just goes kind of like that and then <laughs> and then all the other bits that are a bit displaced sort of slot into the holes and then they go oh I, you know people are like I was feeling a bit displaced and I was like oh I seem to be losing friends what's going on and then I and then I slotted into this hole and now there's all these other people around me who wow we really understand each other and what's going on at this time we have similar ideas and and it we really inspire each other and, and you know, whatever it is that you need from them of course and i am relating this in my own experience in order to um better explain it to you i think but um everybody's situation is different so it depends what you need from your connections um but for me at the moment it's um it's like finding people who can understand me, who inspire me and I inspire them and potentially we can collaborate on ideas in the future if we're going along the same path or even collaborating in such a loose way that that could mean is, is just like having discussions where it's, I guess it's like what you would call brainstorming but we're not labelling it like that, we don't go to have a brainstorming session but we speak to each other and then it lifts this idea and this idea and this idea and then it becomes like um the energy rises and then it kind of comes like a fountain like more comes through it's like once the channel's opened um and we just flow into things together and i know me and my friend today um and this happens every now and then but it's been a little bit of a while for me but today we had um quite a few like ping 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 off of each other and realizations and um we were both like oh mm, yeah cool like mm, that's look at that go like <laughs> and for me I, I know it felt really good because i i mean i love getting my ideas and i love writing them down but they tend to be when i'm in the um i think it's at the theta brain state so like this the state between sleep and awake which you can reach in meditation but i tend to i, tend, I like to go to bed early um, and and sort of meditate or or read or things like that where it's just like slowing my brain down and calming me down towards sleep and things come to me then and I like to write things down at that point um, and I love getting my ideas that way and, and it works for me and I think I often have um, connections with my guides at that time who um, kind of offer up certain words and, and guidance um, at, at that time and that all, all works really well but the difference of having another person there and honestly um just putting out your ideas to someone who you feel like they can receive that and understand that and not only that they understand it but 
they follow through with like um and uh the next step <laughs> um in their minds on that um and it it produces um it's like an acceleration that if you are on your own you might not have moved that far i think it's like they, they talk about this in counseling training of um which i've done a bit of in that you as a counselor one of the tools is just reflecting back to your client so you um your client will say a certain thing and you might reflect it back to them in similar but a bit different words and um so you'd say something like instead of going why or something like that you'd reflect back to them and it allows their brain to take the next step and go into that a bit further um usually with counseling it's not so much ideas it's more like they're figuring out their past or something that happened to them um and it's like a completely different application to what i'll call brainstorming um but it's a, it's a similar thing maybe in that you can't do that so much on your own like that's the purpose of a counsellor at times you can do a certain amount on your own then it's hot you kind of start hitting blocks so a counsellor accelerates that process in your mind um and it's the same it was the same to me when I was speaking with my friend that things were coming up a bit further and I think it was for her as well um and there are a few times we both were like hmm oh I'm glad that came up today. like I didn't know I was going to say that to you today and I'm glad that came up today and um hey look where that went oh I realized things and oh great and now I know more I understand more and yeah it was it was good um but the difference of having people that you can speak to in that way and um they can understand you on that level and keep going further with you it made such a difference to me and um yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, I've mentioned in other videos as a Virgo rising, I can really go deep into hermit mode and naturally introverted, and <laughs> it that leads you to mm, be less social than an average human, maybe. Um, and well, I don't. I don't like labels, but um, I like to think of everyone as unique. So. Um, yeah, but the, the term introvert and reference to the hermit probably allows you just to understand a little bit of where, um, where I'm coming from or how I might experience that. Um, but yeah, it, it shows me that um, although it, it, I do find it um, tiring socialising, um, definitely, definitely tiring socialising a lot and even tiring socialising a bit, um, it's just showing the value of, of giving that time. For your friend and yourself um, to have exchanges and they might not always be like that every time you see friends of course um, but it's just in having interactions it puts that opportunity out there um, and yeah and then similarly if you're meeting up with people and you're not getting anywhere with them and if you're not getting anything else from it you know if it's not fun if it's not relaxing if it's not you know whatever that you need from your relationships it's just knowing that if you choose if it feels right and it resonates in your heart if you choose to um give less time to that relationship or let it go or whatever that feels right the universe will provide something for that hole it will fill in with whatever your needs are and it will probably be mutual with the other person or people that come into your life um yeah so it's just a um a nice interesting observation today of many and i <laughs> i won't put loads into one video so um I'll, i will come come back with you to you with more tomorrow um yeah i hope you're having a good time if you're watching kind of around the live time um it's midweek so i hope you're having a good week um past halfway through the working week unless you work sundays and stuff so yeah i hope you're doing well and um i will <laughs> start narrowing down topics a bit more for what to speak about and um get these videos done one by one and not put loads of things into one video um yeah and I, I'm just 
keeping practicing, keeping on top of my perfectionism doing these videos and I appreciate you being here to allow me to to be on this platform um, and do this practicing um, and I, I actually uh, earlier today I glanced a little bit at the videos I've put out and already I can see that I'm um, you know moving with a bit more flow like talking with a bit more flow and less fear and apprehension <laughs> in in my videos and that's partly due to the acceptance that I've had from viewers and I, I don't actually know who's watching but it's nice to sort of meet you um, and yeah it was interesting to go oh people are watching where are they coming from how are they finding this oh that's interesting they are there though because <laughs> there's, there's, uh, I, I do wonder if I'll go on and, and it'll be like zero views nothing's happening <laughs> uh, but there's there's people there watching so um and I imagine with time there might be more and as I go through life whatever I'm doing after this challenge I don't know what I'm doing next I'm a creative person I just kind of go off. um I don't need to know right now but whatever I'm I'm doing I hope that I don't in the future look back on this and go oh gosh oh cringe um and even if I do <laughs> which I might um I want to leave these videos here so that if I you know actually get really good at doing something that I share online and I have some kind of online persona that people get to know I want to leave this challenge playlist around so that um, if people find find me in the future as this persona they can actually see how I got there through these um, <laughs> what's, what sometimes at least at the beginning feels or felt like uh, painstakingly awkward um, beginnings of learning how to speak to camera and know that there's probably I mean if you're listening to this there's someone watching right so you feel like you're talking to yourself and you feel a bit uh, strange and a bit mad and you don't know who your audience are that you're talking to you just have to be brave and talk and go for it and put yourself out there and it's such a good lesson in confidence and if you've had any kind of like ideas about doing something like this and you you, you have some apprehensions like I had um I would say just just try it out um I would say the first thing to do would be to film a bit of video and you don't have to post it I would just ask you ask yourself or I'd say ask me if I was going to make a YouTube video or a TikTok or whatever you want or a, you know a little video short on Facebook or Insta or something if I was going to make a video what would it be and just let your mind run and you don't have to make the video but while you're letting it run and you're thinking about things and maybe you write a load of things down and your your, your brain will go through this journey and it will make the neural pathways to actually get to the point of making the video <laughs> which is really interesting right so um if you muse on it and you get an idea then you could make the video and you can do it really basic like me you know if you've got any bit of old kit you don't have to have anything very fancy that the computer i'm using is about 10 years old and I know, I know it doesn't look so pro and the lighting's a bit off and I'm filming at night so it's even worse than usual on the line where my skin looks terrible quality um, and it, I do actually have quite bad skin today I'm having a bit of a hormonal breakout and stuff but um, I'll see to that later I've got a load of face masks ready to go um, with, you know, very natural, vegan, um, organic stuff um, that hopefully will nourish get, give me some vitamins and stuff get this thing glowing again um, but yeah, just you, you could just film on any old bit of kit and just when you, if you can, when you watch it back, um, you might actually feel quite impressed with how you come across and how it turns out 
and you might think, oh gosh, I'm, I come across more confident than I feel, or more knowledgeable than I feel, or have a better speaker, like the sound, or speaking, or whatever, you might surprise yourself that you, if you put yourself as an audience member watching, and don't th even think about it being you, and you watch it and go, oh, that's like a watchable video I made. I made a watchable video. And you still don't have to post it. But then if you're like, you know what, I'm feeling brave. I'm going to put it out there and see, just see what happens. And if you get one like or one comment or anything, um, just like a little something, be like, wow, a person interacted with me over this. That's, so it's, you know, I've connected with somebody um, yeah, it's a really cool, interesting feeling. Um, and if you're online in other platforms, it does feel quite different to, you know, just posting a little bit of blurb and getting interactions on something like Facebook or Twitter or whatever, um, like a smaller online platform, like in terms of content, a small piece of content that you might put out there. Um, it's a bit different because a video is like a much bigger piece of you in your life. It's like a, um, it's more than a little status or even a paragraph or even an essay, really. It's, you know, you're up there and it's a different feeling connecting to people. You know, they, they feel the essence of your soul and how you put it across um, in the video and um, they hear your tone of voice, they hear all these things that you can't put in writing on something else. Um, because yeah, it's just a different, it's a different connection. Um, yeah, I hope that's encouraging and I've said in an earlier video but I'll say again, if you'd wanted to have a go at just popping something up and not being perfect and not being like extra, extra, extra careful and um, deliberating like oh, over and over about what you want to do and you want to put something up there and post it and walk away and um, if you have the time and if you want me to watch it come over and tell me that you've put it there and I'll watch yours um, as well and yeah and it, you don't have to do anything that I say <laughs> it's just if you feel drawn to do anything um, and you could do it once, you could do it loads of times, you could do whatever feels right for you, um, but whatever's going on, if you if you want me to uh, connect with you mutually in that way, I'll come over and watch it. Um, yeah, I think that's all. Um, videos, 22 minutes, just, and I will wrap it up. Um, and I've gone on kind of two different topics in the end of this video, so I'll have a struggle about what to call it, but we'll see. That's kind of the fun, it's like, Summing up what happened there, what shall I call it? <laughs> um, yeah, but it's uh, it is quite fun. I feel a bit more um, relaxed and creative in these videos from when I first made the first one. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm actually speaking to people and posting it online. Oh no, <laughs> um, and that was what was going through my head. Um, now I am in more of a flow of conversation and I'm feeling a bit less judgy about myself and um, a bit just like a bit cooler about it um, it's worth it's worth doing this sort of thing if you have any of the same or, or similar or even slightly different hang-ups as me whatever might prevent you from doing something you want to do um, and what you want to do might not be YouTube videos it could be something so 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 different you know, maybe you want to be a teacher and you think you're not a very good speaker or like all sorts of things. Just think about what you you can do to take a little step towards it and push yourself and um, expose yourself to little bits of the things that scare you so that you can be like, oh, I did that and it was fine. Like, mm, nobody killed me or whatever. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that it would have a, a similar effect as having to me feeling a bit calmer about these sorts of things and just seeing seeing how it goes um, and the, the good thing about these things is you can actually um, hide them I think you can just change it from public to private or unlisted if you still want to share it with friends um, 
or, or delete them completely like delete delete every file you've made and <laughs> everything online it's that's that all can be done um and I, I know that you um some people might screenshot things and whatever and sample it if I think you can turn sampling on or off on YouTube I don't know about other platforms um it's up to you to, if you turn off sampling I think you can um and people can kind of screenshot and stuff but um there is a certain amount of control you have and it will go away and you don't have to make any more videos if you did it and you hate it um but it, it is just like that little pushing out towards the edge of the comfort zone and out. <laughs> um, just what I've been doing, but yeah. Um, I'll leave it there. Thank you for being here and listening and interacting if you do, if you feel like um, commenting and saying anything back. And I do appreciate things that are just like a stream of consciousness. It doesn't have to be anything perfect. That's what I'm practicing as well myself. Um, any anything you want to say and I know one of my earlier videos someone just put some hearts and I, that was just really nice like you don't have to say any words either if you're not a wordy person and um, that little connection just feels nice so uh, whatever you feel like um, and it does encourage me to actually feel like okay if someone's listening maybe I should keep doing this <laughs> like, I'm doing it for myself but um, yeah it gives me a little a little more like you're holding me accountable by being there to actually do this challenge right i'll go i'll go it's late it's actually well it's pretty much bedtime i'm gonna go and um so you're probably not gonna watch this till tomorrow because i'm uploading it that late unless you're in a completely different time zone um you take care enjoy the rest of your day week whatever mm, might see you again don't worry if not um and yeah, that's everything. Take care, lots of love, bye.